pink female. girl just got taken away from her litter mates and carried across a, a you know busy parking lot and uh, she's never been in the room before and never seen me before as you can see that she's a little vocal she's not really coming out of the uh, cage or the holding area but it's very important that she just uh, push through that stress and moved forward all by herself without me helping her. Hi little girl. Hi. So a little bit shy of me. We're just going to let her figure it out. Hi. So nice to come and visit. Yes, very good. Her tail is up and over her back, um, so it's not tucked, and she uh, has a little bit of a lower body uh, stance, body posture. She's still vocal, but she's pushing through and coming out uh, to uh, explore the room. Hello again. Hello again. So I'm just giving her little pats to let her know that I'm a good thing and not to be scared. And uh, the next part of the test is like an interaction to see what she, uh, what her base is, whether she would rather stay with me or go and explore the room. Uh, hi. Hi. Very good. You're very pretty little girl. You're pretty. Yeah? Are you pretty? So we're just going to kind of leave her and let her uh, figure out herself what she, let, let her show us what she is. So I give her enough affection that she knows not to be scared of me, but you wouldn't coddle a, a dog that is scared. You would try to... Uh, encourage them to move forward and uh, push through the stress. If I just uh, said, oh, poor, poor puppy, you're crying, and picked her up and caught her, she will never learn to uh, handle stress by herself. Very good. Very good. So she's not really leaving me very much, which is kind of nice. It's a social side. She's sniffing me all over and checking me out. Boop. Oh, she's going to go to the bathroom. Was that you? Was that you? So, she wants to be with me, but she's still a little bit concerned if I move any quicker than a snail face. <laughs> Very good. <coughs> so now she's getting a little more comfortable at uh, looking around the room. So I, I will go on to the next. Uh, <coughs> So she stuck with me during the interaction, but I think it was more because she was a little nervous. So in this part of the test, I'm going to walk around and see if she naturally wants to follow me or whether she's going to kind of ignore me. Hey, good girl. Very good girl. So she does want to uh, Very good. 
So she, she yes, you would love to play. So she she is a little bit on the. She's very vocal. She would like to stay with me, which is quite nice and social. But she is really asking me to pick her up to help her out. <laughs> So what I would do with this little girl is try to introduce things to her. What's this here? What is in here? You want to see this? Yeah, how about this? She wants to be with me. Very good. It, it can basically be the start of your come exercise too, even though she's so young. Uh, I haven't had a need to call her because she keeps coming, which is very good. So I'd have to say that this puppy is more social. <laughs> oh, there she goes. So as soon as I say she's more social, she plays with balls. But she still would rather be where I am. Very good puppy. So this little part of the test is just to see how patient and tolerant this little girl is. So she will have to go to the vets and the groomers in her lifetime and be very patient. She is absolutely fantastic. There isn't a muscle twitching. She's, and I'm holding her for a long time. Very, very good. So very patient and she comes right back to me so she's not holding a grudge or worried or anything. Very good. Was that good? So we like to introduce new sounds and things. Puppy come. Puppy come. Very good. Very good. What's this? You can see that she's sit, sitting behind me, uh, trying to get away from the noise. So she's not sure of the noise. What's this? Happy. Happy, come. Happy, look. Very good. Can you bring it? Happy, bring. Happy, puppy. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Yes! Yay! Oh, how smart! So that was very good. She's very interactive. She's happy. She quickly got over the nervousness of the paper noise. <coughs> very good. So she would... Uh, very good. So this part of the test, we see how puppies react. Oh, are you going again? I hope not. <coughs> yeah. Yes, what are we going to do now? So I'm hoping that the camera is catching what she's doing. So the, she's never had treats before. She's only had her, her puppy food. So we're going to see how she is if she gets overstimulated. Because what you use for treats is very important in your training. Here, do you want this? So I'm going to give her a little bit. <laughs> right there. No, right there. It's not on my fingers. It's right there. Very good. So if you uh, were using a really high reward treat that the dog was uh, getting so excited that, they, that you can't ask them to sit still and then have them so excited. So we're going to just see. <laughs> I think she's a bit excited. So we're going to put that under a cup. So she, she knew exactly what she wanted. She went straight to it and knocked the cup over, gobbled up the treats. Uh, she's borderline on the excitable. So if you have trouble with her, just go back to using kibble as a reward when you're doing your training. And then progress to treats as she... As she, under, well, as she understands what's going on. <laughs> but very smart, very methodical. She knew exactly. 
some puppies, when they're very excited, they knock over the cup and then just off they go with the cup and uh, forget about the treat. So she did, did very, very well. So this is a noise test. I generally wait till they don't see it, but uh, she turned quickly on me. So she didn't really worry about it. Wasn't a very loud noise. She's checking out the source. And she's going to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I guess your timing wasn't very good to come in here. Huh? Can I get that? That's not for you. Let's see. No. Oh. Ooh, puppy. Good girl. So she did very well. It was a it wasn't a very loud noise and unfortunately she turned. Getting excited now. What? 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 What's this? What's this? So a little shy away from the movement, but uh, right back at it. Very good. So you can see she's coming out of her shell a little bit. And uh, getting a little bit more excited. Very good. So she's not scared of this. So you would just uh, broaden your puppy's world by introducing lots of new stimulus, lots of new noises and different uh, sights, different textures. Very good. So she wants to do stuff with you. Cool. Well, the last uh, test really is just a basic prey drive. So very quick, very quick to spot it and go after it. So she has a medium to high prey drive, but she hasn't, <laughs> she hasn't grabbed it yet. She's thinking. Woo. A lot of puppies by now would have pounced on. Well, there's a kill shake now. So definitely you're going to use your exercises in your puppy training kit like uh, drop it and leave it and watch me get her attention back on you. Out in the world there is uh, kids on bikes and rabbits. <laughs> so you need to get her attention back on you. She's a lovely little girl. Woo. So the prey drive too is uh, she was she would rather take it away from, and give it to me. So she would rather just go go take it. <laughs> so very she's getting uh, so much more playful, and it just took her that little time to get comfortable. So when you take her home, just give her some time to adjust. Don't have uh, ten people come and meet her all at once. Just. Uh, just give her her own time to come around because you can see quite the difference from the beginning. So she's very, very cute. Come here. <laughs> very good job. So I hope you enjoy her. Very good girl.